that's fine. So basically what you have, what we have is this screen material. It has a smooth side, which is the emulsion side. I'm not really sure what the emulsion is. I don't, I, I totally don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> anyway, you put the emulsion side down on your, um, your text and, or it could be an image, it has to be black and white. And you put it in, a, in a, an acetate carrier. And then you just feed it in here. And there's a light and it's hot. And somehow the carbon reacts with the heat. The carbon in the ink reacts with the heat. And, and you know, I doubt if that's going to come out in the video, but it, it burns. You can see palely. Now, just to make sure, I'm going to run it through a second time um, to make sure it's really good and black. Because I've had a little trouble lately, although it, it turned out it was because my, uh, my computer printer was running out of ink and so the black wasn't black enough. And I have replaced it, so it's probably fine. I had a really hard time getting the book covers photographed well enough to, to make a good copy. So in the end, I actually cheated and typeset these. I looked at the original and just made it um, as close as I could. This is the only one that I'm actually using the photograph because um, it's an interesting, the, the, the way the, the letters have been broken up. I mean, obviously I couldn't imitate that, so. I think this is pale enough, it's not gonna read. So you, you make sure that you've got it. I can read the text. I've used this before, so you can there's a faint outline, and so I know that I've got it right way up. And I always just do a test one on the uh, on some scrap paper. This ink um, comes as a as a base with then uh, colors that you can add, and you have to add a fixative, which is quite liquid. So you have to add as much fixative as you add pigment, and in order to get a black black, I have to add a lot of pigment, which means a lot of fixative, so the ink gets kind of runny. It's a little um, harder to use than the colored ink. So all I do, I don't want to block that with my hand, but I do need to put my hand here, is um, I put it on, this. <laughs> it's my old driver's license, and uh, scrape along here. I'm just holding the screen steady there, and then there we go. So that's okay. It's not so hard when you've got just a small bit of text like this, but when I have a page that's got a lot of text on it, then I have to figure out so I can probably do half and half. just so it doesn't move and I just peek. 
So I can see that I've, I've got this word important here, and I actually don't have the N and the T. I don't know if I have enough ink left on this. Yeah, I got it now. There we go. So that's, and sometimes when I, when I lift it up to see and I've missed something and I put it down again and I do another pass, then it actually moves a little and I get double letters and so that's a, a write-off. I'm going to try again and make sure this time I go far enough to get those words and I still have enough in here. Hmm, I didn't get this one. That's better. There, that's actually real nice. Sometimes a little too much ink gets on the back and then I have to, I take a piece of Kleenex and try to clean it off. Or I can wash the whole screen. In. So that's how I've been printing these books.